Good morning everyone. Today's 10k race day and nothing's gonna stop me from running a new PB. Not even that horrible 3 degrees rain weather here in London. So it's even started snowing now. <laughs> The last time, by the way, I ran a 10K, just looked it up, was two years ago, um, like in May 2016. So, yeah, ever since I transitioned like to the triathlon and endurance, I totally skipped like any speed work. So, um, but now having done like my first Ironman, I felt it was right, you know, to get back into the pace and aim for a new 10K PB. So this is where we're going, called Dorney Lake, and this place actually hosted the 2012 Olympic rowing and canoeing sports here. At the halfway point, 1,000 meters, the British and Australians were neck and neck. We're walking now because traffic's not moving at all, but someone just told us that the race is cancelled. The race is cancelled, what the? So we're walking there, yeah, let's just see what's going on. Don't get it, I mean it's rain. I mean no reason to cancel that race, but let's shall see what's going on here. That's a bugger. Thank you very much. Sure, there are lots of nice pots in Windsor. Yeah, but we're not in Windsor, that's the thing. <laughs> we're in the middle of nowhere. We're in the middle of nowhere here. So we've made it a little bit closer. There you can see the race tent. This is the lake. The lake. The lake. A lot of cars, fingers crossed. We shall see. So Dorney Lake hosted the canoeing and rowing events of London 2012. This is the first time of us. It looks gorgeous, even though we could have picked a better day, but who cares? Who cares? There's still rowers out there, you see? Beautiful part. Beautiful long stretch for runs. Look the Olympic rings. So if I got that right, um, you can't run a half marathon, that's what my wife wanted to do, but you can go to the 10k. Reason being, they lost the medical staff, they couldn't get it back up. Anything but ideal, 15 minutes to race start, they start queuing to get our bibs. Uh, hmm. So much for doing a warm up. Right, not quite sure how much I'm gonna film now. Um, Cause I need to drop the bag. Very chaotic here. Let's see if this race is happening and how it's gonna go. Let's see after the race. Right, straight after the race. Um, tough, tough one. For those of you who haven't checked my Strava yet, um, my watch said 42.29. It is a new PB, but I didn't hit my sub 40 10k. Um, let me catch my breath, let me get changed, and then try to see why, how the race ran, and what happened. Talk to you in a minute. Oh my god. So wrapping myself up. Let me let me show you a little bit of the race. This is where the finishes are coming through. We did like two laps around that lake here. And right, who's asking um, how the race went back in the car on our way back home. 
Um, yeah, I just couldn't run the four minute kilometers. It's just, I think the first kilometer, I need to check it now. Uh, it was like a four or five. And then everything from that, I looked at my watch. I, it was like 4.15 and I don't know why. And then from, I only remember from kilometer six, like I got stitches. Uh, and yeah. Um, but anyway, I, um, I think a wise person once told me, celebrate any PB, it is a PB. So nothing, nothing to complain. Oh, here is the medal, my dear friends, by the way. And here's some very dirty <coughs> New Balance shoes. By the way, I do love like that system over here. All right, let's have a look at the data, shall we? What the heck? 3239, the winner. I did see like two of the Oxford City runners and they were lightning fast. They, all right, 33. Amazing. There we go. Dan Noz um, finished in 42.27. So what else am I getting here? Buh, buh, buh. So this is training peaks. Let me just run you through um, the charts over here. The race itself was a two lap course. Pretty flat if you ask me, 600 feet elevation gain and loss. This is my normalized power, 81 running TSS, that's the intensity. And what's quite nice is as you see here, I've got 12 peak performances, which are highlighted over here. They are separated by heart rate peaks. So um, I could maintain this heart rate for uh, 20 minutes. And there's also running related um, peak performances, so you do see my peak 10k pace, 650 now. So we're all going into the right direction, which is great. But let's have a closer look to the laps here, because that's why I want to start analyzing it. So my goal was to run a sub 40 minute 10k. In order to do that, I need to run every single lap like at 4 minutes. And as you can see here, like on the first one, I was at 4.04. Second one for 13, 11, 14, 12, 18, and then we're looking at lap 7. You can see that I'm getting slower. 424. Lap 9, 417, and lap 10, I picked up the pace again. I think it's normal when you know if you can still have if you still have something left, you you pull that. Anyway, um, so why did I did I not run like the four minute ones? First of all, I when I started, I yeah, the first lap is always you know a tricky one if you ask me. Um, find you know the right pace. I I felt like four four was good to start with. Uh, then the second one, I I noticed okay four thirteen. Jesus, what's going on? Hmm, can't help it. Let's just continue that one. Work hard. I worked hard, and I was like at a four eleven. Um, and I felt like, hmm, this is going to be tricky for the 401. Let's keep pushing hard and try to get that number down here. Which, as you can tell, I worked hard and I, I, I just couldn't get the number down to 4 minute miles. And then lap 6, 7, 8, um, the reason why this is slower, I actually got stitches, which, yeah, well, so be it. I had to, I had to really work hard and get my heart rate and my breathing sorted. And then, yeah, the last 2K, I, I was just, you know, working hard again, like to, to push the time down. So I am kind of like um, interested to look at the heart rate and, and analyzing. So why, why did I not manage like the sub 40? From kilometer two, my heart rate went up to 170, which I, you know, is a race, so you can see that as well. So, race, so I mean, I expect you know my heart rate like to uh, to be high up there, uh, but yeah, then even maxing here at, at 178, the max then like at the last lap where I was going all out, that could explain like the high numbers over here, like my my stitches. I don't really know, but I can definitely tell my legs were better than my heart rate and my breathing. So besides all of the data, I don't want to be too harsh on myself. This is a new PB and I'm very happy about that, even though you know, I was hoping to do a sub 40. But just thinking, you know, what 
looking forward and what I need to improve. I probably think because in my training program I did most of the intervals indoor on a treadmill. So I need to change that. I need to run my intervals outside to get a better feeling about pace outside. And then just, yeah, keep on working hard. I've got another 10K in two weeks from now. Get the confidence up, get the training in, and, you know, it's only a matter of time until the sub 40 is gonna, gonna be achieved. Whatever you guys are doing, I hope your training is going well. You're good. Thank you for watching. Thanks for all of the kind messages and support. And as always, I see you in the next one. Take care, everyone. So back at home, this is funny. Eh? Um, obviously, you know, putting the stuff into the laundry, but look what I found like in this bag. An iPod. I thought it was like a lighter or something like that. What's there's something else in here? What is it? <laughs> and a lighter. Is it still working? <gasps> ay, 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 ay. Ah. So if you ask me what I'm having for breakfast. Mm -hmm.